Good morning everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful rainy day in Ohio? So TQ and myself decided to swing out here to Greystone Event Center. This is where the Spencer Pro event is going to be held. And I figured I'd take this opportunity to make a video for you if you're coming to the area to kind of uh, fill you in a little bit, make things a little bit easier on you because not everybody's been to Wooster, Ohio where I'm currently at. So with that being said, right here is where the actual Spencer Pro event will be held, okay, on December 10th. December 9th, we're gonna have a event. It's about 15 to 20 minutes away at Schleybot Engines. And that's the free event that we're having. Real low key, just have some food and hang out and just chit chat about equipment, business, and mowers. So on December 10th, this is where the pro event will be. This is where all the speakers will be. Uh, this is where you can bring all of your toy donations uh, to. If you're coming to the area and you're gonna stay the night of where TQ and myself will be staying, will be the Holiday Inn Express and Suites, okay? So our plan is to go from Schleybaz that evening having dinner over there to the hotel. We'll stay the night there and then at 8 a.m. we'll be here for the Spencer Pro event. With that being said, if you're coming to the area and you're not making the pre-event uh, over at Schleybaz, if you just go right down this road here in between the Holiday Inn, the event center and the certified Angus beef. If you go down here about, I don't know, 500 yards and hang a left or right, there's all kinds of ice cream and restaurants and other hotels and uh, gas stations and Walmart, uh, all different types of Best Buy. If you have those areas in your hometown, that's what's down there. I mean, everything and anything, you know, the Panda Expresses, the Starbucks, the Dunkins, all of that is down there and to the left. With that being said, the Holiday Inn still has rooms available for the event. If you're going to stay the night or the next night after the event, uh, yeah, it's right there. So I just want to fill you in before I walk actually into the event center. They are just cleaning up from another event. We just kind of ran out here to get things taken care of for audio, video, and all of that. So there's going to be noise. There's going to be vacuums, people walking around cleaning stuff up, maybe even a little bit of a mess. So don't mind that. They're literally just cleaning up from an event. With that being said, I figured this would be a great time to fill you in as well if you're coming to the event. We encourage you to do snippets or little videos during the event out in the foyer. You can film as much as you want out in the areas where everybody's hanging out and this and that, food areas. Film as much of, you as, as much of it as you want. With that being said, the main event with the speakers and everything, we're gonna really cut back on allowing people to film the entire event. We don't mind if you do a little bit here or there or highlights here or there, uh, but the entire event from start to finish, we're not gonna allow people to film, nor are we gonna film it and project the whole thing out there, simply because you know if we're charging people, we don't want them to feel as if they got ripped off because they could just watch it online for free. So now I'm gonna bring you on in here like I said, don't mind the noise, they are cleaning. But this is the main entrance. Hey, if you're coming to the pro event, get with Paul Jameson right here next to the fireplace, hop on the Green Industry Podcast and uh, tell your story, share some knowledge, help the community out, help grow some businesses or help somebody from making a mistake. That's gonna happen right here next to the fireplace as soon as you enter into the Spencer Pro event. But uh, yeah, everybody will come in, check in, get a badge, and then you can enter through that door over here or this main door here. So we've rented out three halls to accommodate roughly a couple hundred people. And I'll bring you in here real quick, kind of show you. Restrooms are down here on the left, men and women's. This one here will be for food. So this won't be a main entrance, this will be closed off, but all the food will be set up in here for breakfast and for lunch. We will have an all day uh, beverage bar here. Oh, who's this here? What okay. you doing there, TQ? I am just going over the floor plan right now. Very I'm cool. To set things up. Awesome. Visually. Right. <laughs> so, this will be where the main event center will be held, okay? So, there'll be a wall here where that line is pretty much. We're running out three, two, and one, okay? Uh, pretty much, stage will be dead center. Are we doing the round tables, did we decide? I think we'll do round tables. We're gonna have round tables, so pretty much just like you have, they'll be nice and comfortable chairs. They won't be hard plastic or anything uncomfortable. Yeah, you'll be able to 
you'll be able to pop a nice comfortable squat here and be able to see the entire event. With that being said, we uh, splurged a lot for the audio video side of things because typically if you've been to any of these, if you're a little bit further back or, you know, setting a little more awkward, uh, you kind of got to turn a little bit. So what we're going to do is we've purchased quite a few projectors that will be set up around here. Audio is going to be really good. Stage will be set up here. So the speakers will be a little bit uh, more up in the air. And then obviously these tables will be a bit more forward. Uh, they just had a speaking event and then they kept this open so people could go to the bar, which we won't have the bar, but we will have beverage and coffee and all of that complimentary. Uh, anything else I'm missing, TQ? I think that's it. I mean, we'll have our special giveaway tables. Yeah. I don't know what else you covered really, but you know, our, the beautiful scenery out the big picture windows over there and it'll be very, maybe we'll have snow on that day. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> we'll, uh, it'll be very Christmassy, yes. I should say. And then, uh, obviously Christmas trees set up and yeah, obviously it'll have the, uh, Spencer flavor, you know, a little green and pink thrown in there and, uh, we're not going to spill all the beans. But uh, yeah, we'll have an area set up for gifts as well. And then out here, I'll show you just in case you have a coat. Uh, we don't mind if you hang your coat on the back of the chair, but if you prefer to hang it up, uh, you know, there's a little coat area out here as well. So just come to the other side. Right in here, it's really dark right now, but yeah, you can hang your coat up here as well. And then restrooms right here as well so it doesn't matter which side you go to there's men's and women's restroom good morning everyone how are you doing on another rainy beautiful day in ohio it's time to get the lease done we brought out the big boy we brought out the little girl this one's gonna hurt today 390 about a 40 cent spike since the last time we filled up so I'll have to pull forward so we can get to the leaf loader. So what we do, like I already told you guys, we pay for everything inside. We can do it all in one transaction. And then we just separate the uh, off-road stuff from the, the trucks. So if you don't know, I know I've stated it before, mowers, blowers, trimmers, all of that stuff is considered off-road fuel, different tax bracket. This is not tax advice, talk to your CPA and they can consult you with that. Uh, but other than that, your trucks and your mowers are separate. So do your thing chicken wing you can depreciate your truck or you can write off the mileage whatever ends up working out for you to be a better deal so, got it tq got four it. bucks what'd you put four bucks in that's not me i'm just not oh doing it. i thought you had already filled up my bad i just pulled up my bad you just pulled up i think our five's empty as well We'll be back in a minute. So quick rundown, 100 bucks. And that one, 44 on the trailer. And I'm doing this as well. So I can refer back to the video real quick later and know what we put in the off-road stuff and the trucks. 1323 in the Billy Goat. And 100 and something in mine. So 106 in mine. So. Probably 250, 260-ish. All right, so just got here to this one. Another curbside pickup. We do got a little more work to do, unfortunately. Uh, just simply, they're not all the way out to the curb, so I'll show you real quick. We're gonna need a blower. So just gonna bring this line down the rest of the way. Sometimes customers tend to think we it's easier for us to pull in the driveway. When in reality, it's easier for us to turn around, especially on something like this. We're just going to continue on up.
I don't think they've invented that just yet. <laughs> Believe it or not, we take our big blower that's on that truck sometimes and we'll aim it straight up and then drive under the trees. And it helps out a lot. Between that one and this one. So never end this one. Oh, right. Yeah. I'd suggest wait a couple weeks, give us a call. Appreciate it, man. That would have taken me all day, so thank you. Yeah, that's <laughs> no typical problem. answer we get. You know, I've been out here all day and people are like, yep. yeah. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it. Absolutely. Have thank you. Day. I'll put this in. All right, guys. So that's pretty much how we do a service. These leaves are falling as fast as we can pick them up here. But uh, anyways, you guys heard the customer. He'd have been out here all day cleaning those up. And that's where the value comes in. What is the customer's day worth, if you know what I'm saying? So some people, you know, it might be, you know, uh, say they make 20 bucks an hour. If you're out here all day, eight hour day that's 160 bucks at 20 bucks an hour would you rather pay us you know just a little bit more or a little bit less uh i can't give exact numbers guys i gotta really start watching what i say on the channel uh you know we have a lot of competition that doesn't have our best interest in mind and uh with that being said though you know what's what's your day worth what's your customer's day worth this service that we're providing is a luxury. This is not a necessity. This is not something you have to do. You know, there's plenty of people that just leave their leaves on the ground. Uh, you know, typically though, when you get into neighborhoods like this, it's the courteous thing to do is to clean up your leaves and, you know, take care of your neighbors and all of that. So filming some, skipping some filming, just too small. This one here, I think we're gonna film though. Now the curbside. I'll wait on TQ to catch up to me here. Hey, we'll just need one blower real quick to clean some up. So we're right here on this one. Boom, boom, boom. So when I got out here, I noticed the elderly neighbor raking leaves into a trash can. So I had to do what was right. I went over here and talked to him real quick. I told him if he would like just to put them right there at the curb and I would go ahead and suck them up and he said thank you. I told him it would be free of charge so we're going to get them whenever we get down there. So just going to do a real quick courtesy blow up front. Let's get the majority of them down here because the tree's got a little bit more in it. Might get one more cleanup out of it, but make it look good. All right, I'm going to get the billy goat warming up.
so sometimes it just works out like that show up for one and end up with two and i'm not complaining saves me on drive time but uh yeah pass out quite a few business cards as well here got my sweat on and now we'll move on all right watch this this kid right here he, he's got a honk sign <laughs> so he came by earlier and he's like hey i have a honk sign he's like if you see me you got a honk so he's got this horn oh i got leaves flying all in the truck gotta roll them windows up the leaves today started dumping see that over there i got a mess going on now look at these trees though like all of a sudden guys like everything is just cutting loose it's insane they're gorgeous though all right i got parked comes tq no pressure no pressure Like a glove. We can unload it from there. Did I not teach her well or what, guys? I feel like that trash can, though, is, it just jumps right out at me. Yeah, it's there, <laughs> you know, it's there. It is there. It's better than the wall, right? And I'm not using, like, this is the extended cab, so it's a little bit different. And it's better than the wall, right? It is better than the wall. <laughs> you guys don't know, TQ once put the trailer into the wall. I forgot we're not supposed to talk about that anyways guys hope you enjoyed today's video i'm just gonna say i stink i can smell my underarms from here good thing i'm in my own truck <laughs> as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys we'll talk to you later keep you out peace